Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with our friend Danielle Canada, deputy editor of Boss Up, and yes. she's here to give us everything Hollywood, honey, the hot yes. pipe and tea. She's here to give us the scoop. Yes, literally everything. Yes, it is always so good to have you here because yes. I find out about other people's business. <laughs> it's Isn't just, that the best? It, it really is. It's like, when it's you're not, not the one business. in the headlines, yes. it's like, ooh, what happened to somebody else? Okay, yes. okay, then. It makes you feel a little better. But this first story I yes. actually love. Yes. Common and Angela Rye. Yes, Common and Angela Rye are back on. Yes, so Common was a guest on Angie Martinez this week and he told her, you know, me and Angela Rye have gotten back together. They initially dated back in 2017. Mm -hmm. They broke up in 2018, but now Common is more mature and he's ready for this relationship. Yeah. I actually love them together, by I the way. Great I really love them together. Beautiful. I really want this to work, yeah. honestly. I so, do. So Com said that he actually went to therapy um, to work on mm -hmm. his feelings surrounding yeah, love. Yeah, he came so on think, the show and was telling yeah, us about so it. Yeah, so I think this is really helped him out. And Angela's a great match for him. Yeah, I think so. Both of them woke. They, they work hard together. Yes. Yeah. But they don't play the radio. So I like yeah. it. I like them together. I really do. So yes. hang in there, comments. Please. Stay please. with her. Stay yes. with her. Yes. Okay, so Candy, uh, it was Riley's birthday. Yes. And yes. what happened? Okay, so Candy's daughter, Riley, she turned 18. Wow. But unfortunately, she and Riley both got some backlash. Why? Because Riley posted her Cash App link on her Instagram and Candy reposted it. So people were upset because they said, Said, well, Candy, you're a millionaire. Like, Ooh. why do we have to give your daughter money? Ooh. But I want to say this. To me, we are in a culture now where people just post a cash up link on their birthday, especially these teenagers. Mm. I didn't think it was a big deal. So actually, Riley went back and said, okay, I'm going to give one of my followers $500 unsolicited so See? people could drop in and get their own money. See, but that, that was nice. So she utilized nice. her birthday to get money to someone she else. To did. Be, yeah. She did. I, I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. It's just a thing people do now, you know? If you want to bless somebody, bless them. You just sprinkle them a little bit. Spring, you know, back money. in my day, old school, like, honey, they just, you walked around the club or the party. You <laughs> had a safety right it, there, honey, the people it, just before exactly. they all the safety It's exactly. just new age, I suppose. It is. But I'll tell you someone who is living her absolute best life, honey. Yes. It seemed like when she got rid of one person, she just ushered mm -hmm. in a whole new lifestyle mm -hmm. for herself. Miss Cassie, honey. Yes. What so is going Cassie, on with Cassie? I'm so excited for Cassie. She is engaged to her trainer bae. His name is Alex Fine. He proposed to her on a ranch and had a really romantic ceremony. Not only that, obviously, she is pregnant with her first yes, child. Yes, she is. So that happened pretty great. quick, didn't it? Yeah, so they have only been dating since December. And people are pointing out that she was previously dating Diddy for over a decade. Yeah. Diddy never proposed, they never had a baby, and they're just saying when somebody really wants you and the time is right, it all just falls into place. So mm. you just, you love to see it. I'm really happy for Cassie. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. And it doesn't take that long to just have a baby to get pregnant. It, you it can just get pregnant in a couple of yeah. minutes if you and, like to you do know, that. And everybody just always, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of minutes, if you like to do that, you can get pregnant in a couple of minutes, I'm just saying. Literally, just a couple of minutes. But people are just, you know, going in on Diddy about this because really? they're saying, Diddy, you had this great girl she was loyal to you what what happened like obviously this guy sees a value in her and it feels like you didn't so, so and he's not responding he hasn't said anything he Thank has God. no words okay he good <laughs> well i'll tell you who has a lot of words yes k michelle and black china what is oh. happening are they beefing okay so it would be a beef but black china hasn't responded yet k michelle was on love and hip-hop hollywood and she was irate to hear that black china is pursuing a music career um black china has yet to respond but k went in on her and said you know this is the only interest industry where you can walk in without an audition. People use it as your last resort. This is my life. I take it very seriously. So she was offended by it. The music industry? Yes, the music industry. You think you, people can just walk in? I mean, it does feel like people kind of use their their influence without okay. talent to kind okay. of get put on. So I kind of see her point. Um, but China has actually been pursuing a music career for a while. She had okay. a song. It was called Deserve okay. with Yo Gotti and Jeremiah. I'm, okay, no how one, was it? Uh, okay. It came out, but <laughs> but you know, um, I I kind of see where Kay is coming from, but China is keeping it classy. She hasn't said anything, so yeah. I wonder well, if she's gonna. You go. know, just stay focused on the music. Right. I think both ladies should stay focused on the music, yeah. and that's what it really is. But I'll tell you, somebody else who should have focused on the music before Who's he decided girl? to change the theme song to Power. <gasps> oh my goodness, Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent is getting trashed for changing the theme song I'm to mad Power. About it. So see. Season six, season six came out on Sunday. Joe usually sings the theme song. They changed it to Trey songs, and people, Why? I don't know, people are irate about it. Why? Have you, so you heard it? Yes. It's terrible. I'm not here for it. I think and people would look Trey, for that. Trey should have not even jumped on it. <laughs> he should have just. He should have been down. like, no, let Joe have it. So it was so amazing when Joe gave it. It was smooth. This is a big rich town. Like yeah. it just, it just worked, right? Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. happened to come up. Hi. Hey, yeah, exactly. Bright lights, street lights. I, I gotta, gotta make, make it. it. Literally, that. 
that. That goes down. Literally it that. It goes down right here. Danielle, thank you so much thank for coming you. back. We love having you. <laughs> for more stories like this, you definitely want to tune in to BossUp.com for all of the hot scoops in Hollywood. And the conversations always continue on social media uh, at Sister Circle TV. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know why he did that. I don't, I don't know, know why that, that, he thought that that was a good that idea.